सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच पी थ्री एंड वी हैव कम अप टू लेक्चर एट वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ नोइंग एंड वॉट इट इन्वॉल्व एंड वी सेट दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द नोवर्स वन हु नोज और हु अंडरस्टैंड और हु सीज and that is to have knowledge of the human being and specifically in the human being it is the self the self is the one that has the potential to know to see of course the body is being used by the self like an instrument so the we have to understand the knower so knowledge of the human being we have to also understand what is to be known and we said that is the entire existence so we need to have knowledge of the existence and then what is this process that takes place how do you come to know so the process for understanding or knowing is to awaken to the activities the higher activities within us within the self and those are the activities of contemplation understanding and realization and when you do that once you awaken to these activities they become the guide for the lower activities in the self and therefore the lower activities become definite and our conduct our behavior therefore becomes definite so that knowledge of definite human conduct that is also a part of this so when we said when we talked about the knower the self we said that the self is the one that sees now when we say sees it depends on where we are looking from which activity we are awakened to and from there we see whatever we see so for instance when you are supposing you are functioning only at the level of tasting and selecting then you will only see the form the shape perhaps the color of a unit if you are you know um involving the next higher activity within the self which is the activity of thought thinking analyzing comparing then you may compare one unit with another and see the impact of one unit on another so the effect of the reality on another unit one unit on to on another beyond this now this parts what we may be using right now to see the reality this is something that we see as something indefinite something that is changing something that keeps you know the form may keep changing the impact may change and so on but if you look beyond this as you awaken to the higher activities within the self if you are looking from the activity of contemplation then you are able to see the relationship of one unit with another unit and particularly your attention goes to the participation of every unit in this existence the participation of every unit in the larger order and so naturally your attention also goes to your participation in the larger order 
when you awaken to the activity of understanding then you are able to see the harmony that is there in every unit you are able to see the innateness the self organization of the unit how it is so definite and you can see that or you can appreciate that even in the body and even in the self we talked about it yesterday and when you finally awaken to the activity of realization the highest activity within the self you are actually able to see the basis of the foundation for all this definiteness you are able to see the space and you are able to see the units all the units submerged in space you are able to see this coexistence so now there is nothing left you have been you know you can see how things are functioning the way they are because of this foundation this basis and with this of course there is the authentication that this is how it is and it is so definite so it gives that confidence and with it comes bringing all our lower activities in line with this so that ultimately our behavior our conduct can also be definite so um so we talked about this we need to know about the human being the existence and the human conduct the process of knowing awakening to these higher activities and we said this also that when you awaken to the activities of contemplation understanding and realization then you have the understanding of or the clarity of relationship harmony and coexistence of every unit in this entire existence like for instance when you awaken say when you talk of realization the activity of realization to be able to see the coexistence so when you awaken to this activity you are able to see that the entire existence is in the form of a coexistence where the units are all submerged in space and you find that every unit is energized in space it has a energy it seems to be you know things seems to seem to be happening plants seem to be growing you know every unit that you look at including yourself and the body things are happening and they seem to be happening on their own so they are energized in space they are self organized in space they are in a particular order they are in a definite order things don't just happen randomly so the earth has been going around the sun from whenever we can go back and see isn't it and this is how it is nobody is doing anything to make it happen this way but it is it just is it is in a very definite manner no day does it happen that the sun instead of coming up in the east comes up in the west never happens all these things are very definite every unit 
is recognizing its relationship with every other unit and fulfilling that relationship in space. So in fact, if you see every unit, any unit you see, when you see its participation, you see that it is going in a very definite manner. It's, you know, for the unit to be able to recognize the relationship, that is very definite. It doesn't change. So a fruit tree, you know, say a mango tree or a papaya tree gives that fruit. Now that fruit, when you eat it, right, it is nurturing for the body. That fruit, now you can say that it is recognizing the relationship with the unit and fulfilling that relationship. So these things, when you start looking at them, you see the definiteness in nature. If you look at the self, you, the self, are a unit of consciousness in space. You can see you are also energized in space. So you have all these activities going on within you continuously. You may or may not be aware of them, but they are there. So where is that energy coming from? You are just energized in space. You are also existing in a particular order. There is a definiteness there also. Some amount of self-organization is there within you. Again, we may or may not be aware of it, but it is there. Like for instance, when I have a feeling that is in line with this existence, in line with my natural acceptance, then I feel happy. Whenever I have a feeling otherwise, other than my natural acceptance, other than that of harmony, of coexistence, of relationship, then I feel unhappy. We cannot change that. That part is definite. It is part of our self-organization. If we are not aware of it and we make choices that are otherwise, we end up, lead, you know, it leads to unhappiness in us. Again, we may not be able to see it, but when we do, we realize the definiteness in our self-organization. We also have the ability to recognize our relationship with other units and fulfill them. And when we do, we feel happy. When we do not, we feel unhappy. This is also definite. However, we make choices sometimes to the contrary. And then we are able to see the results of that also. So we have the choice, but if we understand the definiteness in the existence, then we try to live accordingly. Just to reflect on it and see, you know, how you fit in in this existence. Are you recognizing your relationship with other units? Are you fulfilling for other units? These other units may be other human beings. It may be the body. It may be other, you know, units from other orders. So all the units, are we fulfilling for them? Am I fulfilling for them? Am I recognizing my relationship with the other units? So this was what we had to reflect on. Didi, um, I just want to ask you one thing. Uh, when I said separately, uh, you know, to give exercise for imagination, then 
it happens that whatever the content uh, i have been through in the morning session it like again come back and you know a kind of film goes sun is uh, supportive like how physical order is supportive to by order it comes like a picture in mm-hmm. in my imagination mm-hmm. this is the first part and second part uh, in my act when i uh, do some action or somebody is doing uh, you know something to me then i can catch like what is the kind of feeling uh, i am having right now but my mm-hmm. doubt is like if i sit for imagination and the, the content is repeating um, mm-hmm. is it right way yeah so when you hear about this definiteness of existence it gives us comfort isn't it right you feel secure you feel safe you feel you know you can trust the existence that it is always definite nothing will suddenly sort of go haywire there is some order and it is going to continue that way so you feel confident when you see that you feel comfortable with that now mm-hmm. when it comes to observing what is going on that's all you have to do to observe whatever is going on observe see whatever is significant for us we pay it pay attention to that whatever is uppermost within us that keeps replaying okay so that means observation yeah if you see in the imagination everything is like a recycled in the imagination whatever we see in the imagination something we hear from outside some activity some past experience so you'll see everything is you're recycling that you keep going through it you know like how a cow chews the cud it keeps chewing the same it brings it up and it chews it again this is what we do in our imagination right. we keep you know whatever we hear whatever we see all of that keeps replaying but important thing is to observe this now you have become aware of it earlier you may not have been aware of it right isn't it so that is the important part because you are observing from a higher point so whatever it is you are seeing just keep observing you don't have to stop it you don't have to change it you In do have to see the feeling but like you said when you are doing some activity also you are able to notice the feeling Mm-hmm. so certainly when you feel when you are able to you know when you observe what is going on within now you could observe that you are comfortable you have the right feeling right. but supposing something happened outside which was not so pleasant for you there also you will be able to see that your feeling is not right so this observation is very important because now you are able to see the feeling from there we can work towards moving for definiteness of conduct that when we do the other steps the remaining steps of the exercise so i'm moving away from uh, the flow where my all other family members are, are going their demands and their uh, way of you know uh, seeing the world is different and my way of seeing the things are getting different so that kind of confusion was there and i was little you know sometimes i used to either i used to pull them to my path or i used to go to balance you know uh, with them but now i am at very comfort state uh, because i i i now think that i should give time to them and work on my competency yes. when this is happening then i i can very much clearly see that you know my uh, my daughters and my relatives they are coming and you know they are also sharing and i can see where is the where is you know the kind of jisko uh, fasavat jisko bolte hain where is that fasavat so i can mm. see that clearly and can i can point out in a very uh, you know clear manner without mm. hurting uh, others feeling and if they are not ready to accept i just leave it so that you know uh, some other time or some in a bit other better way 
uh, or in some appropriate time so i can see that this is a kind of progress is happening in me and uh, i am becoming more balanced kind of nice very nice this is what we mean by you know getting anchored within rather than outside if you are constantly looking outside there is no anchor with this i am kind of anchored within i don't just keep swaying whenever there is a little breeze from outside i don't get swayed that side i am confident in myself but at the same time i am i can see that my role is there i have a definite participation in the existence not that i have to move away from the family or be separate or go inside a cave or something i need to live here and now and you know work on my competence and help the other like you said and if they are not ready yet i continue to work with my competence and have patience that you know at some point they will be able to see things for themselves i will continue to make the effort but i will not get disheartened right so that was about realization when we say understanding we said understanding of the harmony the self organization in nature so we classified them into the four orders the nature and we could see from that chart that we did on nature that units of a particular order have definite innateness they have a definite natural characteristic isn't it so this innateness that we were talking about is the self organization so that is definite that can be understood and when we understand that that definiteness of that we feel comfortable this is being referred to as a feeling of bliss so we'll come to that also the different feelings that we talk about important thing to see here is that this self organization that is there in the units that is very definite it doesn't keep changing from one day to the next day so when i understand this definiteness i am determined to also have definiteness within me so i get determined to be in harmony in line with my innateness my self organization and with that while doing that i try to help in the self organization of the other units so now my concern is the other is in disharmony the other is unhappy how can i help him or her be happy not that how can i change them that's not my focus how can i make them agree with me that's not my focus my focus is they are unhappy how can i help them be happy so i have concern for the other and i try to facilitate the harmony in the other when we contemplate on you know if you look at the activity of contemplation you are contemplating on your relationship with every other unit and your participation in the larger order so every unit you will find has a very definite participation in existence no matter how small the existence may be it has a very definite and important role to play so you know there there are very small bees they are almost like flies they look like swarm of bees will look like just some flies and studies have been done to show that because of them so much of the ecosystem is surviving because of their presence you see small um birds you see small insects you see small butterflies bees 
so many of these now so much is happening in nature no cross pollination is happening all this is happening so every every unit is significant when we don't understand it we try to wipe out whatever we think is interfering in our comfort not realizing that actually that could be supporting our own existence so this thing about bees was has been done and we can look at it the, you know the significance of bees and how they are how important they are in this whole ecosystem and like that you will see for every unit i just took the example of bees but you will see that every single unit in this existence has a definite role to play it is not frivolous it is not just for show sure. it is taking part and has a significant part so this is contemplation this activity within us which is helping me to see my relationship with every other unit and seeing the participation of every unit in relationship with other units so with that my attention gets drawn to what about me in case of the human being what is my role in this existence what is my participation in the larger order the larger order means i start with myself first isn't it i work with the body the unit that i am most closely associated with is the body so my participation with the body isn't it my feeling of self regulation so that i nurture i protect i rightly utilize the body is my participation there or not then i look little beyond that i see my immediate family what is my participation in the family what is my value there what is my what am i doing for harmony in the family then i look at the society as my vision grows i participate in the larger and larger order i look at the society i look at nature and you know look at existence and nothing can be left out in this i have a definite role a definite participation in every larger order i may or may not be able to see it right now but as my understanding grows as i contemplate on the relationship i am able to see that my relationship is already there with every other unit so therefore my participation is also there with every other unit i just need to see it understand it and live according to it so for instance when i say what is my value say in relation to other human beings so with other human beings i need to look at the relationship of mutual fulfillment mutual happiness not just that i'll be happy but that the other is happy so i work towards that i have justice in all my relationships with other human beings and ultimately i see the bigger and bigger and bigger picture till i have no boundaries till i see my relationship with all human beings and you can reach to an undivided society with all the right feelings first it is you know to begin with in the human beings you have we talk of those feelings now with that when i look at you know when we talk of the complete value the feeling of love there you can see the connect is the same we are trying to see our relationship with each and every unit and when i appreciate that i have the feeling of love that feeling in line of this seeing the relationship with every other unit 
so then i can see that i have a very definite role to play as a human being and my desire gets set according to this what i have understood so my desire becomes to fulfill that definite role my desires become definite and i can see that nature has provided me all this and there is a you know provision for fulfillment in nature for mutual fulfillment of all units so there is a feeling of satisfaction contentment within me so this is the picture how it would be when i am not able to awaken to the higher or i have not yet awakened to the higher activities but i am working with the lower activities so when i am working with the lower activities my imaging my desires my feelings they are mostly being governed by the outside because from inside there's nothing much and i'm not paying attention inside largely to begin with we are all paying attention outside isn't it so there anything that goes on in my imagination is largely from the outside so my preconditionings are playing on my desires my past experiences something i have heard something i have seen that replays again and again in my imagination in fact whatever is important to me whatever is significant to me at that time that is what plays depending on whatever is my understanding or lack of it in this case that is one large part another large part is coming from the sensation something feels good on the body so you know i want to indulge my senses and to feel that pleasure and that is driving my imagination so i may be you know at a very respectable place for a very important seminar but my thoughts may be on what kind of lunch are they going to provide at the end of this my focus is there so you can see where the imagination goes we may not do anything with it outside but if we become aware of the imagination we can see where our focus is where we are giving importance and where we are not and a very small percentage generally in the beginning comes from the natural acceptance because we don't refer to it so this is what the picture of the self looks like so sensations are unguided our focus is on you know profit profit maximization accumulating more and so on so now we can see that what is happening when we awaken to the higher activity the activity of contemplation to do with the participation understanding to do with the harmony the realization to be able to see the coexistence now with this now you can see this becomes the guide to our imagination what we were calling anchoring within rather than being swayed by the outside whatever is happening in the outside with that i feel overpowered instead of that i have the confidence within me i can see the definiteness in the existence and i can see my part my role so with that definiteness comes the confidence and now all of this that i have understood that becomes a guide for my desire so my desires are set right like we were saying in line with the existence and once the desire is set then the thoughts and the expectations and the behavior will follow so this is what we keep referring to as 
the B1 and the B2 block. In the case of the contemplation, we said that that is talking of relationship, understanding of, you know, uh, contemplating on the relationship, the clarity about the relationship that we have with every other unit, and our participation in the larger order. Um, when it comes to understanding, it has to do with the clarity of harmony that is there, the self-organization that is there in every unit, the innateness of every unit. And then, of course, the you know, attention gets drawn to my own innateness, my own self-organization, and how I am in line with it or not. And ultimately, the highest activity of realization, it gives the clarity of the coexistence in this existence, because I can directly see the submergence of all the units in this existence. Submergence of the units in space. So then this is what it looks like. I have the clarity coming from the B1 block that guides my imagination in the B2 block. And everything is set or starts becoming definite from within. All the activities, lower activities, start being coming know, in that definiteness in line with the natural acceptance or B1 block or whatever you want to call it. Reflect on these.